from generation to generation. This is the place where I grew up, the place where we talk stories and speak in the language of recipes and ingredients. This kitchen may be familiar to some of you. Can you see my Grandma Cora's big sunset pan on the gas burner? Can you smell that fragrance of ginger and garlic mixing together in the oil? Can you hear the hiss and sizzle of the vegetables dancing over the heat? Can you swirl the noodles with me? People often ask me if Cora Cook's sunset is a true story, and it is a true story. It is my grandma's story, and my mama's story, and my story, and my daughter's story. The characters are fiction, but each one holds a piece of me. I wanted to honor my grandma, Cora, and my first daughter, Melani Cora. I wrote the first version of this book in a writing course taught by one of my mentors at Fresno State. And at the time, I wanted to celebrate Filipino food and bring color to the world that I never saw when I was a child. I believe that children need to see themselves in books, and that was something that I really longed for when I was a kid. I clung to my books um, during the, the 80s. I didn't find many Filipino-American books, but I found a book about a Mexican girl called Nine Days Till Christmas, and it was one of my favorites. And I begged my mother to read it to me over and over again. After I wrote the first version of this book, I decided that it wasn't quite complete because it needed to share a piece of history, a piece of Filipino-American history, and it's the Filipino farm workers who were working in California. And so I interviewed many Filipinos in California, and I talked to my dad who picked strawberries in the fields, and I asked him to share some stories. And so really, this is the story of um, those of us who grew up in the kitchen, probably many of you, and it's also the story of those Filipino farm workers who, who worked hard and who cooked hard and ate hard as well. Um, so the final version of this story, it came together because of my wonderful illustrator, Christy Valiant, who's here tonight. And it's very exciting for me because it's my first time meeting her. Um, she is a wonderful illustrator. And really, when you look at the pages, I think it looks like my family, even though she has never met my family before. So I'm so grateful to share this with you tonight. And I hope that you get to peek in the Ponset talk with us. Um, if you get a chance to look at the book, and I want to just give praise to God for opening the doors for me to write this book and for me to be here tonight. So, aloha.